she criticizes the bishop's sermon. Your Grace, I am Sister Juana Inez de la Cruz. I'm told you wish to see me. There is something I would like to say, Your Grace, if you'll allow it. Whilst I stand by, every argument I made against your sermon at the mandate it was never my intention to commit my thoughts to paper, nor to have them published and distributed about the city. It was never my desire to anger or humiliate you in that way. I wish only that you'd be aware of certain facts, of what I did and did not intend. But I am not afraid of standing trial. I will listen to your case, whatever it might be, and I will then refute it. I will defend my right to think and speak as I see fit. I will not renounce my life. I know you have condemned me for writing plays and poems for the court, but I do not regret them. For they are tales of love, of care, of despair, and of devotion to all the things that make us what we are. And there are prelates came before you, and will come after you, I think, who see no harm in you. Nor can I regret the thoughts which I expressed upon your sermon. Or are not all opinions put forth to be considered and responded to? Is that not the key to our progression? Why should men reserve all right to speak and write theology? If my thoughts are as learned, as exacting as a man's, why should they not be heard? And I have heard and read some poor and crude theology from men, yet it's given credence. If my arguments are good, if I am not as well informed as I should be, they criticize me, yes. And I will go away and learn some more and think of them and try again to reach towards the truth. Why should our faith be a knowledge? The knowledge comes from you. Without it, we would be as animals wading through the mud and the slime. Why should our fight knowledge be less precious, less miraculous in my mind than in yours? Where in the Bible does it say girls cannot be wise? Show me. Prove to me, beyond all doubt, that fact. And I will then be silent. There is no devil in me. Nor do I do the devil's work. You call on devils, I suppose, for want of any answer. Why do you not look at me? I think you are afraid of me. Of all my sex. Why? Because we cannot be controlled. Or well, perhaps it is yourself you fear. Because to look on a woman is to know you are a man. A human being with all the frailty that implies. And all those hours you spend at night denying your humanity, they not aware. And you are left exposed. 